Hi, it's Olivia, and a couple things. First, the Stranger Things lights background that I had had to come down, but it's kind of bittersweet because I'm really happy with the new setup that I got going on. And then also, hopefully it's looking good, I'm not sure, but this is the first time that I'm using uh, my new camera that I just got a few days ago. It's my first, like, DSLR camera, and I'm so excited to use it. Um, I'm actually kind of nervous to use it. I'm really happy with how my iPhone films, and so I don't know. It's, I feel like I don't think of DSLR specifically as for film. I think of them more for taking pictures, so hopefully it's coming out good. Hopefully I'm not out of focus right now. But anyway, uh, the other day I was at Barnes & Noble, and every single time I go, let me know if you do the same thing, but every single time I go to Barnes & Noble or any other bookstore, I have to walk into the kids section. It's my favorite section in the store. <laughs> I love the kids books. Um, and like all the kids and like middle grade books, just that whole section is just my favorite thing. And I was walking around and thinking about all my favorite books from when I was little and I thought it'd be the perfect uh, video to like share some of my most memorable and favorite kid books. So let's get right into it. Alright, this first one is one of many where I'm not sure how popular it is because I'm ju I just know it was popular or at least well known in my class at my elementary school but I don't know if you guys know it because uh, I feel like no one else knows this book but it's called The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales. Boy did my second grade self feel like the word stupid was so scandalous to me in the title of a kid's book. It was const- and this was a book that was constantly checked out at the library because, you know, it's, it's got that word, it must- oh my gosh, you're reading that book with the word stupid in it? <laughs> it's so- it's such a funny book. But on the times that I did manage to get my hands on it, um, I, it's just so, it's just so funny. It's a parody, obviously, on very well-known fairy tales, and there's this one page in particular, um, it, it's just, the whole thing is funny. Like, do you see the back? It goes, what is this doing here? This is ugly. Who is this ISBN guy? It's, it's like the chicken talking to the cover. They, they, it does that throughout the book. It's like they're talking to the reader. It's so much fun. But there is this one page that will forever have my heart and I will forever look at it over and over again. Um, it's called Jack's Story. Um, if you can see, the font gets progressively smaller and smaller and smaller and I can't tell you how many times, and I still continue to do it, uh, I read down to see how far it can go before it starts to blur on me. It's, it's the same story being repeated over and over again, but it's, just, it's always just something I remember from this book specifically. But yeah, if you've never read this before, I definitely recommend it. Alright, this next one, I actually really don't know the story to it. I'm not even sure if I've read this book all the way through. It's called The Kissing Hand, and it has two raccoons on the cover. The reason why I said I'm not sure if I, I finished this book all the way through, or even, I don't even really know the story, is because I was focused on something else. If you look at the very bottom corner of the picture of the book, it, it, it says free stickers inside. And at the library, stuff like that is always taken out by the time you get to it. If there's any sort of cool thing in a, li in a library book, it's normally taken out by someone else. But I was the first one to get my hands on this, I think. I think it was like a brand new thing that they just put in the library. And so I got the book, and it had all the stickers in it. <laughs> I felt like I just found the biggest treasure, the fact that it had all these stickers in it. And... So, you know, I took all the stickers, but I'm not sure if I ever read the book. I just know that I, every time I look at this book, I think of stickers. Alright, this next one I always love because of the colors and the patterns and just the silliness of it all. But it was called a, I think it's, like I just had it, a very, no, no, a bad case of stripes. Uh, and it, the cover is this girl who, who's laying in bed sick and she's covered in stripes. I always thought this book was so cool. And I just know that there's this one page in particular. She kind of looked like a, like a pill. I don't, I don't know what she looked like. She she was shaped like a pill. I think she was filled with gumballs or something. But I just thought that was the funniest thing ever. The next ones I want to talk about are like these series of books that start out by saying, if you give blank a blank. So I took a picture, um, if you give a moose a muffin, or if you give a pig a pancake. I think the pig a pancake used to be my favorite one because I used to be obsessed with pancakes. Um, and they're just cute. 
I mean, there's only so much I can say about these books. It's just, these ones are super cute. There's no way I can make this video without mentioning Shel Silverstein, whether it's his poem collection, so like Where the Sidewalk Ends, or Falling Up, or the book like uh, The Giving Tree. Um, I just really loved his stuff. I loved reading it, but especially the poem collections. And I think it's in Where the Sidewalk Ends. I want to say it's in that one. There is the funniest poem. I'm going to link it here or put it on the screen or something. In this, whatever it is. I think the, the poem is called Smart, but it's about this boy who gets a lounge from his dad and how he makes more money out of it. It's so funny. There is no way that I can make this video without talking about Dr. Seuss. I'm not even going to pick a specific book at the moment because there are so many Dr. Seuss books. So many things, like there's so many and I love them all. And his his writing, it's it's so quotable. I love I love it. And actually I have one, I actually, this was at Target, it was only one dollar. But it says, you're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. He just always has such great quotes in his, in his books. Um, and they're just filled with like this child wonder and imagination and adventure. It's just, it's so much fun. And it's so silly, some of them. But uh, in, my, in my house, so me and my two sisters, um, we have a lot of kids' books. We moved into where I live now, and now uh, my little sister, she's 13, so, you know, we're not really reading Dr. Seuss books anymore. So they're all put away into a box right now. There's, like, in a closet. Um, so I can't show you our copies of Dr. Seuss books, but we have a lot, and since it went from... And, and my mom didn't buy any new ones for each of us. It's kind of like we have the Dr. Seuss book, my older sister read it, I read it, my little sister read it, um, and some of them are beat up. Like, our kids' books in those boxes, some of them are really jacked up from us scribbling or just making a mess of them. They're really messed up. And actually, you know what? Green Eggs and Ham, I remember reading so much. Like, I, I feel like I know that so well, that story. Um, so I would, I think I'll say that that's my favorite. Yeah. See, there's the Cat in the Hat, and I love that movie. I, who plays the cat in the movie Cat in the Hat? And I think Dakota Fanning is the little girl. You know, with, you know the live-action Cat in the Hat. I actually really, really love that movie. Alright, the last two book series, they're both uh, like a series of books. Uh, they're they're kind of my first introduction to chapter books. So the first one I want to talk about is the Junie B. Jones books. I think the first one in all of her books and I think the one that I remember the most is Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly School Bus. Just the way she thinks, her little, her, her personality is so entertaining. I, I will forever love these books. Um, and I can't remember what grade she's in. I want to say she was in kindergarten, but I feel like there's a book titled, like, she starts first grade or something. So she's around that age, but they're a lot of fun. Other books that I have to mention, uh, are the Magic Treehouse books. Oh my gosh, those were so cool to me. I always felt like such an adventurous and smart person reading those books because if I remember correctly, they like they teach you a lot of stuff. And there's this one, I'm trying to think of like the one I remember most. It's maybe the Tornado one. I think there's a Tornado one. But I love all the Magic Treehouse books and I wonder if they're still making any new ones. Do they? So those are all the books I'm going to talk about for this. Uh, I'm sure that there's plenty other children's books that I love, but those are the ones that kind of stood out to me. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!